In this video, we're gonna be going over some screen recording settings in Filmora. So there've been a bunch of improvements to their screen recorder, which I'm gonna be showing you and some of the settings that you can uh, use to optimize your experience, okay? Now, when you open Filmora, this is the welcome window. As you can see, there is a screen recorder button here that you can click. It's gonna be the first one. So go ahead and click that. And uh, let's give it a second here. All right, so let's go ahead and move it over here so you guys can see it. All right, so this is the screen recorder here. So what you want to do is going to be is to open the settings here. It's kind of small, but uh, it's easy to miss. Uh, if you're not paying attention, you might not find where the settings are, but the settings are going to be over here. Click that drop down. As you can see, this is going to expand. All right. Now, starting at the top here, we have uh, this screen recorder here, right? So this is essentially your settings for what portion of the screen do you want to record? For now, as you can see, I'm recording the full screen, which is why you can see uh, this border here uh, across the entire screen, okay? Now, if you click this drop down, you can see that you have the ability to, uh, you know, have custom settings, right? If I do custom as you can see this gets smaller and I can even adjust this to my liking now if I go down here you can do a targeted window so if we, you had a bunch of windows open you are going to be able to target a specific window so you can go ahead and click on the specific window itself and this will allow you to do that right so if I went ahead and click that uh, this would target uh, that specific window okay I'm going to go back to full screen just so that we can have a clear screen here now, the second option here is going to be uh, the uh, audio in the capture input, right? So this is going to be your screen, your uh, audio recorder. So if you have a mic plugged in, click that drop down here. You are going to see all the options that you have plugged into your computer. So you can see I have two, I have two different microphones here. Uh, to record this video, I'm using this one here. And for this, it's using my webcam um uh my, my webcam uh, 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 uh audio here right oh microphone all right so that's going to be this year so you, you, get, you just got to select whichever one you want to use if you have multiple if you have one that's going to be the only option selected here uh now to disable this you can just click on this here as you can see it's going to go ahead and disable the audio right so i'm going to click on this it's going to go ahead and enable the audio again so let's go ahead and so but for now as you can see it says microphone off now the second part is going to be the speaker so this is going to be if you have some audio playing now on your computer let's say you're recording gameplay here this is how you are going to be able to uh, uh, record it make sure this is enabled if you have this disabled you're not going to uh, be able to record anything coming out of uh, the system right any system sounds now, the second option here is going to be uh, the camera. So to enable this, just go ahead and click on it. I'm not going to enable the camera right now, but uh, click on this. This is going to enable your camera. All right. So the last uh, option here is going to be uh, this record button. This is what you're going to click when you are ready to record uh, your video. Now, on the bottom here, if you have multiple screens connected, uh, monitors connected, this is going to tell you the monitor that is going to be recording. OK, now, if you click on this, it will switch to the other monitor that you have. So uh, this just tells you whichever monitor is uh, it's going to be recording when you hit record here. Now, going over to the settings here on the top, you have the recording mode. So there's two options here. So for these two options, you can only have one selected here, right? The first one is going to be camera screen merging. Mer merging. So this means that uh, the computer screen and camera footage are merged into one single track. So if you're recording uh, the computer screen as well as um, you know as yourself using the webcam or something like that, this is going to be merged into one track when you export this into Filmora. Now, the second option is going to be the camera screen splitting, which does the opposite. So if you're recording a face cam video or yourself, as well as a screen recording, uh, this is going to allow the computer screen and camera footage. Uh, they're going to be placed on separate tracks, which allows for separate editing. Right. So if, if something that's that's what you want to do, go ahead and select that option. It's going to give you two different um videos that can be added on two different tracks while the top option combines everything into one video i recommend using this uh, second option here because it, it gives you more uh chances or opportunities to edit your videos um if you want to kind of like adjust uh, the camera itself like if you have a face cam and you want to adjust it reposition it you are going to be able to do that when you have two separate uh tracks here two separate um 
video files. And on the bottom here, you have some self-explanatory stuff, which is the video name, uh, where you want the video saved. Uh, you can change the frame rate here. You can change the quality. Uh, you can actually do a countdown, which means once you hit record here, it's going to count down from three seconds. So if you want, you can increase this or you can remove it. Right. You can also add record, uh, a record timer, which essentially uh, stops the recording after a specific uh, period. Right. So if you want to stop recording after an hour, you can select that and you can set uh, the, the, the time here. OK, now. Uh, next option is going to be the mouse. So if you want to, you know, include the mouse gesture, like if you're doing tutorials that require, you know, people to follow around uh, you clicking uh, on the screen, you might want to enable uh, the mouse uh, gestures here. Okay. Now you can also allow, uh, you know, you can also allow mouse clicks here when recording. That means when you click, it does like maybe an amplified click noise. So people know that you're clicking on things, right? And you can also select um, any of these here, right? So that people can see exactly what you're clicking on. Um, you also want to make sure that play mouse click sound is enabled. As you can see, you can tells you that make sure that your system audio is turned on. So if you want those mouse click sounds, you want to make sure that you have your system audio turned on here. So you can see if I uh, turn it off right now, you see that this is going to be grayed out here, right? Just because I'm not able to uh, capture that uh, system audio. So if I enable this, you can see that this option is available for me here. Now you also have the ability to uh, set up some hotkeys here that you can use. And lastly, you can enable GPU acceleration. This is going to allow you to allow your system to process things a lot faster. That's if you have uh, a GPU. All right. Now that is pretty much it for this video. I wanted to show you guys some settings here when it comes to uh, screen recording. And obviously when you're ready to record, go ahead and hit record. It's going to record this when you stop the recording. It's going to import, uh, export that video into uh, Filmora. Now that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.